dropped him up in the van for a few days. So I thought I'd just pop up, check he's all right. And do you know what? He's bloody lovely. I just had a little lay down on the bed at the back. It's literally like walking into another room in the house. It's freezing cold outside. I mean, it's cold in the van, but it's nothing, as, nothing near as cold as what it is outside. And this bloody lovely laid on the bed here. I could fall asleep. I've just gone to get fish and chips again. Start the week as we mean to continue. Let's see if I can catch Jackie Skyvin. What are you doing, Jackie? Are you you Skyvin? Where are you? I've been grafting away getting the fish and chips in. And you're Skyvin on the back. And what are you doing waiting for your fish and chips? You what? We've arrived at our destination again, Cox Tour. It's like our favourite place at the moment. There's little Daisy. You all right, Daisy? I've got to go round the back and turn the gas on so we can put the kettle on and have a cup of tea. Oh, the gas, the switch is down there. I'll have to... Ah. You can do it for me if you want to come in. It's Olin. It's like, whoa, I was trying to keep the doors attached to the van. That'd be nice. There's that one. Windy enough in there, Jack? Let's get this gas on. That one. And that one. And turn the turn the knob. Go on, boy, I'll just turn one of them on at a time. Ah, there he is. Close that one down, don't really need to lock it just yet. Those keys can go on the bed. And here we are, I hope the wind ain't messing with the sound too much. It probably is. And there's my little William, not used him for a few days, what with one thing or another, he's been busy. Working as well. You got it all open and you got the step ready for me, Jack. Can I come in or are you going to be sweeping for the foreseeable? Hey, go on then. Do some sweeping. Well, I will. I'm a man, I'll do the driving. You're a woman, you can do the cleaning. <laughs> well, I'll clean the outside, so it is about equal opportunities, isn't it? I cleaned it twice last week. I took it for a jet wash and then the next day it was so filthy, well two mornings later it got so filthy, especially on the back, that I washed it again by hand with a bucket. We have lunch, <laughs> battered sausages, curry sauce, fish and chips, and that's just mine and oh we bought some chicken for Daisy. Looking forward to your lunch Jack? Yes, thank you. Very much so. Very much so. <laughs> Daisy, do you want your chicken in a minute? You can have the chicken. Okay. Come on in Jackie. See how far we can get. Got your walking boots on, Jack. Oh, look, a friend. Hello, friend. Oh, dear. Pussy. Hello. Oh, yes. Nice horse. Pony. Another horse. Hello, beautiful horse. Here's another horse. They're beautiful, aren't they? So much wildlife on Dartmoor. Absolutely gorgeous. We're getting there. It's a bit of a slog, but we're getting there. We are seriously contemplating do we give up or do we get over this bit? Just about there. What do we have? A herd of horses. Do you want a herd of horses? Because <laughs> they ain't got any wings. Oh. We've 
made it this far, the question is, do we go any further? I don't fancy rambling up there. I'll probably twist an ankle or something. But I might be able to go around that way. Get up there from the side. But we'll go over. She wants a cup of tea. We'll go around the side and see if we can get up on top. Well, I don't think you'll hear a blinking thing up here. It's windy as hell. It's quite a bloody gale. Still a little way to go, but at least we've got past all the rocks. What'd you say, Jack? Is that ca cows? Here, look, it's cows, boy. Daisy, it's cows. We're getting there. Practically at the van again. The wind's dying down a little bit, which is nice. And good to see that the van's still there. There he is. Good old William. Look at this beautiful horse having a man of five minutes. He was darting around. Our old sweet old made it back in one piece and uh, look at all that's all the horses that were trying to get across the road just now. Oh bless them. And as just before we got to the road there was a nice watering watering hole just beside the road there. So that's probably one of the reasons that attracts them all to this area. I could hear them neighing, if that's what they call it. it sounded more like they were going So we get on in now and put the kettle on, all right, Jack? We're chilling out at the back of the van. As you know, we hiked up the tour back down again, and we had a cup of tea, and we got back in the nick of time, so it was thundering and lightning, and there was rain bashing down, and the wind was howling on the back doors there. But we don't care, because we're tucked up in the back of the van. The central eating's been on. So it's getting blooming lovely. We didn't have it on at first, and it was getting a bit nippy. So we turned the heating on, and it gets lovely and toasty in here. And we're just laying on the bed. We're not in a rush to go anywhere. We're just chilling out. I'm going to go and make another cup of tea in a minute. And we got something to eat. Um, well, we made some sandwiches. We were going to have some sandwiches. And, and scones with jam and cream for lunch. But we ended up hanging on to that. So we had fish and chips for lunch. And we thought we'll have the scones and the sandwiches and that a bit later on this evening before we go home. But we got to go home because we got work tomorrow. But we'll hang around here till about 8, 9, 10 o'clock. Then we'll head off home again. Right, what are the girls doing back there? There's a little girl first. Are you snuggling? Are you snuggling in the bus? This is Daisy's favourite place on earth. And there's Jackie's table, which is normally beside her here, but I'm laying down. So she's had to put it over there. And there's Jackie. You enjoying the bus? Tell me about your day. Why did I go? What? <laughs> Tell me about your day. No. Why not? God. What? Don't, don't this this is all going on, so you just oh, as well. No. You've got to say something good. No, it's, it's been a nice day. Right, tell me about your day. No, it's been a nice day. Why? Because we've been chilling out, but I've been missing Theo. We always miss Lauren. Theo and Lauren. <laughs> Talk to me. Why shouldn't I talk to you? Go away. 
Where can I go? This is a six metre van. What have I got to do? Lock myself in the toilet. You have to retake that. Go away, she says. We're in a six metre tin can parked in the middle of Dartmoor. Where's there to go? It's pitch black outside. I can't even see the... What is it? At eight o'clock? It's eight o'clock, it's pitch black, it's freezing cold, it's piddling it down, it was thundering and lightning. There's miles of open moorland all around us with werewolves, etc. I ain't bloody going out there. So she wants me to go away. Wow. Port from in here. Go in there for a bit. A bit of what? In the naughty boys room. There. This is the only place I can go where there ain't werewolves. We didn't go out in the van yesterday, so we're off out today. We're going to go and, uh, well, we're just going to go up and get some fish and chips. That's what we like to do lately. Go and get some fish and chips at Princeton and park up somewhere and get it. And uh, we got blinking traffic light. They got roadworks or something up there, but we were afraid it was going to be queued right up. I don't know, forever, but then I could see the traffic lights. So at least there's an end to our queuing. This traffic, we managed to get through the traffic lights from this direction. This queue back leading up onto the moors to Princeton. This is absolutely ridiculous. It looks like it's queued all the way back to Yelby Roundabout at this rate. I mean, we've had literally probably two miles, at least two miles, easily two miles. Look, as far as you can see, I'm curious to see how far it goes. Right, I think this is technically the end of the queue back. I mean, they're starting to slow to join it. This is absolutely mental. We stood outside the chippy in Prince Town. I've just ordered our, ordered our fish and chips and fish cake and chips for Jackie. So just killing a bit of time. I think we parked over there. Where am I? Yeah, I parked over there today because technically you've got to pay in that car park. So there's a space over there. <laughs> I don't like paying for parking. Not for 10 minutes anyway. Such a lovely area. Nice big tractor there. There's the bus. Good old war memorial. And there's our chippy. Very fond of that place. Best fish and chips I've had in a long time. Not a spot of grease on it. I think I've just stood on something. I can feel something under my eel. The old police station cafe. And today's speciality is fish and chips for me, but I'm going wild today and I'm having gravy instead of curry sauce. And Jackie's going really mental when having two fish cakes, chips and curry sauce as well. And Daisy's having... Curry sauce. Not curry sauce. I keep saying the wrong words. If you, you hear a lot of these videos, sometimes my brain thinks of two words at the same time and I'll join the two together and come up with a unique word. You've seen that a few times in the past. I just keep saying the wrong words all the time. And there I said, curry, I said, gravy for me, no curry sauce. Then Jackie, I said, she's having curry sauce when she's not. She's having gravy. I think senility or something must be, must be settling. I'm probably going to get worse as these videos go on. Are you my bestie? Are you a good girl? Are you my favourite person? Are you my best friend? Tell me you're beautiful. Tell me. Tell me you're beautiful. What? What? Are you beautiful? Tell me. What? What? Are you, are you beautiful? Tell me. You are a beautiful. You're a good girl. You are a good girl, Daisy White. We're in our usual spot up on the moors. Not long had our fish and chips. Well, maybe an hour or so ago now. Had a cup of tea. Just going back to see what the girls were up to. What are you doing, girls? What are you doing? What are you doing, Jackie? Your Playing your blinking word domination. Let's have a look. Are you winning? Yeah. Are you enjoying yourself? I'm winning because I've got good boosters. Oh, it's all about the boosters, isn't it? Tell them about the boosters. Local. It's one of these games where you need boosters to play. I ain't got a clue about it, but I know the more boosters she got, the better she does and the less angry she gets. Because she gets very angry when she can't use her boosters. Look at that, look. 
Daisy, what are you doing? You are my seat. Well, I'm going to come and lay down in a minute so you'll have to move. Bye bye. Bye bye. What's going on? I've got another car there. Another little camper there. Oh, young lady just pulled up beside me on her own. I wonder what she was doing by herself, just parked there, but she's gone again. Probably when she saw some man, 53 year old man pointing a camera at her. And there's a Cheyenne there parked up. I'm going down to check on William. Jackie says I shouldn't, I don't want to. Cause he's been there all day and I haven't even seen him. There he is. You right, William? Well, I'm inside. And he's glad to see me. How many lights do I want on? Not all of them. He can go off. That'll go off in a minute. He can go off. There. Let's just get in the back. There we are. Oh. I like sitting here. Hang on. Stop my neighbours from seeing me. Is that one? And that one. There. It's just me. And William for a little while. I said to Jackie, I'm going to go and check on William because I've not seen him all day. Well, I've driven past him twice. Once on the way to work, once on the way back. We were going to go out. Well, I wanted to go out this evening. But Jackie said, no, she fancied a relaxing evening at home. Because I was going to do some like chicken and onion rings and chips and beans and sausages and chuck them all in some foil trays, take them up on the moors and cook them up. Which, if we go out tomorrow, we'll probably have that tomorrow. But she said, nope, I want to go home and have a roast. So we stayed home and had roast beef. And it was lovely. And we've had a lovely relaxing evening. But I'll miss his ma van. Because he's a good boy. He's a good boy, is William. Here he is. Good old William. Oh, just getting off the bed. Go down here. Like, oh, those lights are still on. Why are they still on? Are they still on? Shit. I've got a feeling those lights might have been on all night and all day i think i think they actually um turn off once i lock it you know with the remote once the alarm goes actually so there's william there's my bathroom oh look at that all nice and bathroomy Maybe I could do with some lights on in here. There we go. What's going on out the window? Cars, a little bit of rain. And that's a wall. Nothing to see there, apart from a wall and my reflection. I don't get these lights off. Tonight we are hosting a murder mystery evening at our tea rooms. Murder at Daisy's Tea Rooms. But the question is, who done it? The butcher? The baker? The candlestick maker? The chauffeur? The sexy tennis coast? Or even the police officer? Police officer wouldn't have done it, wouldn't he? You never know. Which is what Sierra has been doing bit of moonlighting in fact but wearing what uniform you might ask some people are workers some people are quitters Ford's attempt at resigning didn't go too well earlier but the butler after a busy day and night at work last night I've got to treat myself to a bit of breakfast so no point having your own tea rooms unless you can do what have I got there that's a quarter pounder with bacon and cheese and relish <laughs> perfect for breakfast and a nice cappuccino in me super dad cup. 
That's the end of a week at Daisy's. It's been a pretty old busy old week, actually, with one thing or another. Uh, don't think we're not going out in the bus tonight, though, because uh, we're going out for a meal. And then we've got to be up early to babysit tomorrow morning. So, out for a meal tonight, locking this place up. Um, we're having Mondays off, because we always have Mondays off anyway. So there you go, Jackie, what have you got to say? Glad to be going home. Had a good week. She's a girl of very few words. <laughs> 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 there we go this is our little tea room if you haven't seen much of it in the past look well we've got the blinds down now just to keep all the nosies out because we're obviously we're locked we've locked up and cashed up and taking all the money home with us don't leave a penny in here the only thing they can nick is cake <laughs> we don't want any of that either rabbiting on a little bit and i this is our little tea rooms that there big gym Grand five o'clock, big gym. That used to live in our house for about 10 years before we got this place. And then we brought it here. It fits in lovely. Jackie at the time actually says, oh no, we don't want to bring it in the tea rooms, but we brought it in. And then she says, oh, that's one of the best things you've ever done is brought that big gym in with us. So that's our big gym. And over here, look, if you can see that, that's our wedding photo. We thought, well, we just as well put it up in our tea room, seeing as we spend more time here than we do at home in our front room. Yay! <laughs> We've made it out in the bus again. It's been a bit of a hectic week. We haven't been out since, I don't know, like Tuesday. And I have been missing getting out in the bus because I love it. But we actually made it out today. So we're heading up off to the moors. Yes, I know we're always going on the moors, but it's what we do. We're going up on the moors. We're going to chill out. We're going to have a nice time. And uh, it's just nice being in the bus again. We managed to get out for another walk again. It's absolutely lovely out here. The sun's coming, going down. Look, you can see it glaring there through the clouds. Just looks so beautiful, doesn't it? We had our fish and chips, like, like you do. We well, gotta eat someone at lunchtime, ain't yeah. The scenery is absolutely breathtaking. I love all seasons, you know, spring, summer, autumn, winter. They've all got something beautiful to offer. A little bit windy, not as windy as it was up on the tour last week. Look at that, that's the start of a sunset. I won't stay out too long because the clocks there, what did they do? Fall back, the clocks went back and we will end up walking back to the van in the dark and getting lost. We've had our little walk and we're heading back to the heading back to the van on little track. She's taking the high road, I'm taking the low road. I'm a little bit lower than her. But then it evens up our height a little bit more, doesn't it? Just about. But it's been a bit of a trek. We've been trying to dodge all the boggy bits and the wet bits, and then we've had liquidized. Uh-oh, this side. No, just lots of liquidized cow packs. <laughs> and I've got my sunglasses on and it's uh, a lot more overcast than it was when we started off so i should take them off really but i quite like the dark <laughs> so i'll keep me some how you doing jack where are you there she is there we go heading back to the van see if we can get the kettle on and have a brew what's around us look there it's the moors all right that's the tour that we went up last week and then there's one beside it that we want to do when we've got a bit more time and it's a bit more dry, eh? Come on, Jackie. Keep marching. Left. 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 Where are you? She's disappeared behind me. I'm so big, when she stands behind me, she completely disappears. There she is, there's a little head there. She is. You having fun? I can. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie, 
the Lion King. <laughs> Do you know what, Jackie? I've actually realised that there's a reason why I'm the singer in the family. <laughs> Go on. Get back to your bleeding van. Go on, off you go. Off you go, put your foot down. We've had our walk and we've just made a cup of tea. There's a little Jackie back there. How'd you get on after your walk, Jack? Very nice, thank you. Do you feel refreshed and invigorated? I didn't want to go out on the walk because it's cold and foggy and I was quite happy just snuggling and playing my game because I'm addicted to it. Did you get wet feet? Hmm? Did you get wet feet? No, I'm not too bad actually because I won nights so well, I've got, bed. I've got walking shoes and I did notice yesterday when I was cleaning them that they got a little split on the side of the sole. Mm -hmm. So I did get one wet foot. Um, but I'll carry on wearing them. Not so much for walking, but I'll wear them for work and that. I'll wear them. Got to, got to get me money's worth out of them, and I? Mm. So, Jackie, do you want to tell everyone why we ain't got Daisy with us today? Because we went babysitting, didn't we? We did. We went babysitting and we left Daisy at home when we went babysitting. And then we knew that Daniel was home and then we knew Daniel was going to take her out there. That's it. We knew so, we knew her big sister was home, and her big sister took her out with her. And it was going to be another time of day if we went back home for Daisy. Exactly. But just as well we didn't, because you weren't there anyway. Because she was with Danielle, Karen, Jack, and John. That's and it. If, if we went back for her, we wouldn't have found her there anyway. But at least she's had a good day. She went to Jenny Cliff, and they had dinner in the cafe at Jenny Cliff. And I wonder if she managed to scrounge a sausage. Mm. Maybe if they had breakfast. Very good, Carl. Very good. Just having a little scout around the outside of the van. Who we can see through the wind. Oh, look at that, look. It's that Jackie. There she is. Can we get her? Only just. So we decided to stay out a wee bit later this evening and we didn't bring any tea with us, which means emergency rations. <laughs> so I've got a packet of this macaroni cheese pasta. So I put 120 millilitres of semi-skimmed milk or thereabouts, poured in about a quarter of a pint. And then it says 280 millilitres of cold water. So, you know, that's about half a, half a pint <laughs> thereabouts, something like that. I'm bringing that to the boil. Gonna chuck this in, it only takes about six or seven minutes. So we'll see what that's like. Give that about six or seven minutes. Got our little bowls, where's our little bowls? There's a couple of little bowls left over from our camping days when we used to, again, out on the moors, we used to take great big tent out with all the kids and camp on the moors. So that'll be quite nice. A Little bit of macaroni cheese in our little camping bowls. Emergency stash, we got like, instant rice and instant pasta and some tins of bits and bobs and that so yeah cut into the emergency rations i'm sure it's going to be lovely be nice if we had a bit of ham in it a bit of bread or something but nah a bowl of macaroni cheese would touch the spot because we had a nice big uh well i had more than jackie because i always have more than her so we had fish and chips and i always get and uh well we had fish and chips she had fish no she had two fish cake and chips i had fish and chips or cod and chips and then I had two sausages. <laughs> oh, and, an, and a fish cake with it. So that, that's like all I've ate today so far. I know I say all, all I've ate, you know, but we don't have breakfast. So that kind of like kept me going until now. And I'm not starving, so I don't want a big meal, but I think a little bowl of that will set us about right. Right, I think this macaroni cheese is just about done. Plenty of steam coming. Oh, look at that. Hey, not bad. I don't know how much it was from Tesco, not very much, probably about 60p or something like that. Not bad. Little emergency ration for two people, 60p or thereabouts. 
I don't think you can grumble at that. Let's turn that one off. Dish it up here. Whoa. One for me. No, two for me. One for Jackie. Two for me. One for Jackie. Oh, bless her. Now she can have another two to bring us up even. I can't starve her, can't I? Poor little girl's got to work over a little bit more there. One for me. Well, if you don't need it, I'll finish it anyway. One for you. This is going to be easier just like that, isn't it? Well, it's not bad, actually. Look at that. Probably about 30p a portion. Emergency rations. Macaroni cheese. Voila. A la carte. Beautiful. Oh, that lid looks horrible. The ends. So it's all splashed up. Let's put that down there. Oh, I've chucked my spoon in there now. That's got all dirty, so I'll have to get a new one. We've had a lovely day out on the moors doing our thing. We've just had a beautiful drive home from, uh, you know, coming through Tavistock and across the moors through Tavistock. Listen to Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers. <laughs> beautiful. I always say that this man, William, he loves country music. I've always loved country music on and off throughout my life, but, you know, I've played a lot of Jackie's dance music in our vehicles. And, uh, you know, I play a lot of rock music and stuff like that and Elvis. But no, William, he's a country music fan. So we've had, had a really lovely, enjoyable drive home. And um, that's it, going to be it for this week. Now I'm, you know, a couple of minutes from home now. So uh, lots of rain, though. Lots of rain, lots of rain, lots of rain, lots of puddles, lots of fog across the moorlands. Thank you all for watching. Look forward for you seeing me, seeing you, seeing me um, next week. Or and me. And Jackie, of course, Jackie. It wouldn't be the same without Jackie. And William. And I promised we could try to get Daisy in it <laughs> next time we go out. She just, she didn't make it today. We left her at home because we babysat. And then um, our daughter went out for the day, so we took Daisy with her as well. So, But Daisy had a wonderful time. She went out with our daughter and her, and her cousin Alfie. He's another Yorkshire Terrier. And, um, you know, our Jackie's, well, Jackie's sister-in-law, or well, sister and brother-in-law. So we've all had a lovely day. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye. Right, Jaddy. Jaddy? Jahadi Jackie. Right, Jahadi Jackie. <laughs> I shouldn't say things like that, but I will anyway. You finished your fish cakes, <laughs> chips and curry sauce. So how did that compare with you? I've said it again. Right then, Jihad, Jihadi, Jackie. Right then, Jihadi, Jackie. I know I shouldn't say that, but I did. It's fallen out of my mouth. There's no going back. How did you get on with your fish fingers, chips, and I nearly said it again, gravy? Fish fingers. I said fish fingers. It's not a fish finger. What is it? <laughs> Well, you tell me what you had then. What did you have? Just... Um, no, no. Even if you kick off, I'm putting it on. So what did you have? <laughs> what did you have? Fish cake hole and it was good. Thank you. And what was the cur curry sauce like? Right, I'm going. Why? Because <laughs> she's doing my head <laughs> So you enjoyed it. What did you think of your bit of sausage and your bit of fish and your bit of chip? Daisy, did you like it? Right, Jackie, you finished your fish and chip. No, fish, cake, chips, and curry sauce. So, marks, marks out of 10, how did it compare with fish? I say it. Keeps telling you I say the wrong word. <laughs> <laughs>